Bonjour, hello, welcome to the Man Cave, to the Max Mountain World Global Headquarters. Going to do a little experimental video here. I'm going to go out with the sunglasses cam and do stuff. Talk away, I'll be behind it obviously. So one thing I'm going to have to do is I can't go kind of walking about and have people watching me just talking because they don't realise that this is what these are. So I'll be sort of like I'm on a, a phone call thing and whatever. Um, I'm having a bit of a bad beard day but don't really give a monkeys because this mask thing is just going to make it even worse or whatever and it hides it too. So uh, without further ado, sunglasses movie coming up. Sounds off, radio off, amplifier off, fans off, computer off, tablet off, UK phone, the main phone, here we go. Aston Le Batimont s'il vous plaît, oubliez, c'était depuis quand le gouvernement a décidé, ok, merci, super. Excusez-moi, monsieur, pas contre la porte. C'est comme les dernières deux, trois fois, j'ai déjà dit. S'il vous plaît, un peu de respect, s'il vous plaît. Merci, passez une bonne journée. Il y a beaucoup d'espace pour faire ça. So adorable. <laughs> nice puppies, but uh, you look at the position of parking here. As many of you know, my uh, job around here is a maintenance guy, like the Scottish guy in The Simpsons. Uh, <laughs> So, uh, yeah, never ending things to do. It's just like the snowboarders in winter, the guys with their bikes in summer come here all tooled up with stuff. And someone has been unscrewing these. Why? Pour les masques dans le bâtiment, s'il vous plaît. Ça, c'est pas juste quand je suis ici et mes collègues, c'est pour tout le monde, s'il vous plaît. Les masques dans le bâtiment. C'était bien réglé depuis quatre semaines, cinq semaines, je pense. Merci. A beautiful hot day today, and as you can see, a few puffy clouds about, a few high clouds, the sun shining bright, about 26 degrees. Absolutely perfect for leaving your dog on top of a balcony when you go out. Now, I've heard one or two around, but there was one that actually woke me up from the afternoon nap. And the people have since recuperated it. This dog was howling. I just started down these stairs just now and felt something. It felt like one of my hairs was come loose. And, wow! That's the size of that guy. Look at him. He got active the minute I disturbed him. Hopefully I've got the right angle on this for the, the sunglasses cam. Wow! Part of my job, yeah, I kind of pass around everywhere, the parking areas and whatnot, check everyone's okay, pick up any bits and pieces, people leave rubbish everywhere. And one time a few days ago, I did a little check on, on registrations of cars because in France you have to have your department number on it and I found that four out of every five cars parked here were from cluster areas Marseille, Paris, Lyon and other villages where declared clusters are Marseille, Marseille and that's kind of scary enough but then when I passed inside the corridors one in ten people, three weeks after, just checking the door here as well, three weeks after the government deemed it necessary to wear masks indoors, one in ten people were wearing them. 
that gets scary. They come here, they think because there's nothing here already, that it's a safe place. It takes one person to spoil the fun. Door seems to be okay. The people play football against these. They try and force them open. It's, it's incredible what they do. They just break everything. So as I say, my job, pass around, pick up rubbish. I've got a fancy kind of pick thing. Yeah, all is good. Yeah, I've got a fancy little pick thing, a sort of remote stick. It's quite good. You can actually, one advantage of the masks is you can do a, a pretty good ventriloquist act for the kids, you know, never forgetting that my job is also to provide entertainment, to make people happy. I'm in the, I'm in the tourist industry, so to make people happy. So with my uh, picky thing, which I don't have on me just now, and the mask, I can do a hello. <laughs> kids love it. Hello. Bonjour. I passed here about an hour ago and there's rubbish here already. It's incredible. Three weeks ago I installed this for one of the property owners and someone's already reversed into it. Wow! Just as I say, they break everything. They have no respect at all for anything. A fire bucket? It's not too bad. I kind of cleared that out earlier. Fag butts? Yeah, I'll get them again. And people chuck fag butts everywhere. I'd be a smoker. I don't do this, but look, it's right next to a drain. Why not just... You know... Unbelievable. A couple of questions just as I scoot around on my technical trolley. Corridor. One meter eighty wide. You need to be three inches thick to be able to <laughs> keep a distance of one meter. What's the story there? And also, there's uh, always the question of these these Muslim women with their I think they're called burqas or whatever. But do they have to wear them as well, or can they replace, or does a burqa suffice on its own? That's always a good question. Apologies if the audio is a bit muffled in this, uh, for obvious reasons. The, the balconies and stuff. This is the little guy that was left all alone. He howled his head off. wide in here although it's 1.6 meters long now this isn't in my own building it's another building where uh, my company has some apartments so hello <laughs> Dans le bâtiment. Vous avez passé ici son masque. Dans le bâtiment chaque fois, s'il vous plaît. Here in the big garage, I cleaned down, took all the rubbish away this morning. What else have we got? Just there's more. More in front of this car ahead of me here. They just chuck stuff away. Unbelievable. So a few clouds coming over. A bit dark up the mountain behind, but they'll pass. Generally speaking, very hot still. You can see by my shadow. Very sunny. Just a few puffy clouds around and a quick view check before the end of the video absolutely beautiful day wow <laughs> so a couple of points of note on the way out of this one it's seriously hot today uh, 28 degrees the sun is 
a lot stronger up here. It's got less atmosphere to go through before it hits you. And uh, very, very humid today. I think we've got storms coming the next couple of days. So, I'm not a policeman. I mean, seriously, do I look like a policeman? All I'm doing is my little bit to promote common sense and respect. And if there was more people about promoting common sense and respect, this world would be a better place. Now these people, animals, because they're dogs too, <laughs> if you know what I mean, <sighs> there's just no respect for other people. Windows open, doors open, kids crying, dogs barking. I got woken up from my afternoon nap uh, by a dog barking, left out on the balcony. I mean, that dog must have been roasting. It was howling its little thingies off, you know. And people just at the very end there, you know, they were just going to walk into me. They're no, no thought. Now, we've already done a video on this. I'll, I'll, put, I'll put a link in up above now. And uh, people are just aren't thinking. It's thinking that's going to save lives here, as well as distancing, masks and all that stuff. And uh, maybe just a little bit of respect as well, because a lot of these places where these people come from, where there's clusters of the virus and things like that, doesn't surprise me in the least bit. And as a conclusion, it really wouldn't surprise me. In general, throughout the world, okay, you've got the USA, which is a whole different thing. Uh, but countries of Europe and stuff, yes, they've opened up for holidays, summer holidays and stuff, and there's a slight increase in various places. But the countries are experiencing now using their own experience to, to actually get a hold of, grasp a hold of that, and boom, it's done. It's controlled, you know. So... Really, it's, we should all be okay, but it's, this is going to go on for a long, long time. And if we don't get a hold of these idiots that just have no respect for anything at all, the people who come from places where the society is used to kind of pushing the limits of things, you know, that's not what we need. So anyway, I've been having fun, I've been out at work, I've done a few jobs, I've been, I've had the sunglasses cam on the go and whatnot. It's been a bit of an experiment, really. Sorry if some of it's a bit shaky, there's no anti-shake in the camera. Um, the, sorry if it's, so, the, the audio's a bit muffled at times. Uh, yeah, you'll know why. So anyway, uh, I'm, go I'm doing this outtake before I do the edit. I'm not going to edit out any of the, the bad stuff on it, I'm just going to put it on. So uh, thanks very much for watching. Remember, subscribe down there when you have done. You can uh, click on the alert bell and that will give you notifications of further uploads from Max Mountain World. You can make comments below, click on the thumbs up, the thumbs down below. All the feedback helps me continue producing stuff that people want to watch and uh, that's so important for me. So Share it with people. Share it online, share it offline, show people that on your phone, say, hey, get that on your own phone, have a wee look at it, whatever, subscribe, blah, 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 all that stuff. It's the usual YouTube promo stuff, but that's all I'm doing. It's, uh, that's what I'm doing with this channel. So anyway, thanks very much again for watching, and until the next video, ciao. So... Whatever happens, 12 days and they're all gone. The mountain is mine once again. In the meantime, just look behind me here. Whatever happens, that's gonna still be there. And also, I'll just swing around, yeah, there's some stuff going on, a concert where they won't be socially distancing.